with this Knight of Swords, this person suddenly, suddenly wants to communicate. Hello Virgo, welcome to your October 2020 reading. I hope you are doing absolutely magnificent. While you're here, please be sure to hit that like button for me so that we can help this video to get out to others. Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups, Seven of Coins, Ten of Coins. Look at that, Ten of Cups, Ten of Coins. How awesome. And the King of Cups right here at the center. Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Six of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. Oh my goodness. The Knight of Swords. Well, I know there's, um, <clears throat> there's a particular Virgo on this channel that's really going to like, <laughs> like this. So girl, if you are out there, pay attention. <laughs> So, this is really, really fantastic, Virgo. Oh my goodness. I think it's going to be a little bit shocking for you as well. So, before we get started, um, please be sure to subscribe. Subscribing will help me to have a, a greater chance of connecting to your energy as well. All right. So, Virgo, we have the Knight of Swords and the King of Cups. The overall energy has to do with somebody desiring communication. But in fact, in this particular situation with the Seven of Swords, I feel like they have cut off communication. Our knight is running towards the past. I believe you may be somebody's past. Past meaning this morning, yesterday, last week. There's somebody in your life who's exhibiting the traits of the King of Cups. Now this could also be you, Virgo. Very possibly could be you. The King of Cups is somebody who cares very deeply, but they don't often share it. They keep it inside. They have a tendency not to express themselves. With this Knight of Swords, this person suddenly, suddenly wants to communicate. Now, we have some very strong energies on here, Virgo. And as a result, this could take a little bit longer than October to get to you. So um, just keep that in mind. Now, interestingly, everything in your spread is absolutely magnificent, except for this card. This King of Cups could have been trapped in self-delusions about their feelings for you. For some reason, they chose to walk away, or you chose to walk away from them. Now notice, we have a king and queen of cups, Virgo. We have a couple, whether you are a heterosexual couple or male-male, female-female, does not matter. We have a couple presented in these two cards. Two people who have a lot of love for each other, as shown with our Ten of Cups. Two people who have a lot of love for one another. It doesn't get any better than the Ten of Cups. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. Now, Virgo, here in the past, there's this strong sense, perhaps you expressed yourself, perhaps you told this person how you were feeling with the Queen of Cups. And there may have been a sense of stability here between the two of you or a desire from you for a long-term commitment from this person. Or you could have been in a long-term commitment, could have been married, could have been, you know, exclusive. But it looks like with this Seven of Swords, somebody chose to walk away from the connection. Now, the reason for walking away from the connection they may have lied about, because sometimes we see that here with the Seven of Swords. But the Seven of Swords is when something isn't very clear, yet there's this feeling that somebody has done you wrong, somebody has deceived you, somebody has lied, somebody has cheated, something of that nature. There's this feeling that that's the case. Perhaps that's how you are viewing this person. But, 
we have love here between the two of you. And we have a particular person, the King of Cups, whether this is you or the other person, that is nostalgic and wanting reunion, wanting to see each other again. The Ten of Cups is a mutual energy of love and affection, not a one-sided energy of love and affection. It's mutual. But there's a waiting energy. I do see the reunion is going to be coming. There is going to be a potential for, for happiness here as well with this Eight of Coins. But it's currently on hold with the Seven of Coins. This Ace of Pentacles is coming in the future. At what point, we don't know. It could be within the next nine months. I know that's a very long period of time to be thinking about, but that does indicate nine months. Also could be within Capricorn season here. If not Capricorn season, Pisces season, or Taurus season. So it's not too, too far away. This would be the first 10 days of March. So we have movement. We have wishes being granted, wishes being fulfilled coming back to this point of this ten of cups but a little bit further you know a little bit of work to do in order to get back to that however i do see forward movement so it looks really fantastic absolutely fantastic please ignore the road noise my dears round and round round and round a situation that's been going in a cycle, cycle after cycle after cycle, perhaps the same cycle over and over again. All right. Chemistry. It's the chemistry between the two of you that will draw you back, back to one another. Strong magnetic attraction between the two of you. And we have owl wisdom. Okay. So this is saying with, with wisdom, with the owl card, this is often that intuitive guidance, not just actual knowledge from books and things of that nature, um, but knowledge from life experience as well as knowledge, intuitive knowledge. So this is fantastic. Uh, Virgo, what I'm seeing is I'm seeing a situation that's been going round and round and round that you're getting some sort of clarity on. Somebody wants to communicate with you, but it looks like that's on hold. They are thinking about you. They do love you. There is this desire to reunite. And I see that in the future, provided that they don't choose to, to change course between now and then, we have this wonderful, wonderful new opportunity here. So we're going to dig a little bit deeper into this. We're going to take some clarifying cards, see what else we can find out. And um, we'll also take a few cards on career and then some love cards between you and Cancer. All right, let me get the Cancer card out. Virgo and Cancer. Virgo and Capricorn. All right, and Virgo and Sagittarius. All right, so we're gonna take some extra cards on these three, but we're first going to take a look at this spread here in the extended. So stay tuned for the extended preview. As always, love and light to you. See you soon. Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your extended. Wow, we had a card came got turned over in the pre-shuffle. We will address that card. My apologies. The Hierophant, the Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, same card here, the World, the Four of Coins, the Ten of Wands, the Four of Wands, 
the eight of coins and there's the seven of coins again. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing allows me to connect to your energy for future readings. And I love to be able to connect with you energetically. So don't forget to hit that button. Also, please share these with your friends and family. You never know who might be in need of the message that you just heard. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Thumbs up.